hey, let's find out what our love languages are. So in Gary Chapman's book, The Five Love Languages, he kind of goes over these different ways that people give and receive love. And there's a nice quiz on this website. So we're going to do that today. We're going to take the quiz together and see what sort of interesting things we find out about our relationship. If you want to take the quiz, you can go to fivelovelanguages.com as well. All right, so this quiz is all about finding out how you give and receive love individually. Um, so there are five different love languages. They include acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, words of affirmation, and physical touch. And everybody kind of has a different different mix of these these sorts of things, with usually one being a primary um, primary way that you give and receive love. And then maybe some people have like a secondary one as well. Um, so we want to find out today who's got what. All right, Stephanie, let's find out what our love languages are. So throughout all this, I guess we'll do mine first, and then we'll switch over to yours. So we'll bounce back and forth. Okay. So let's start it. Okay. All right, first off, um, I am an adult. We're both adults, so I'll do Are you that. sure you're an adult? I try to sure? be. You're okay. the one who needs to be sure. <laughs> you're a man-child. <laughs> Is that not an option? Man-child. <laughs> no man-child. All right, we are both in a relationship. So I can answer these for both of us. Um, okay, now we're into the juicy parts, the good, the good okay. questions. Also, the reason I think why they ask like adults or like your age group and all of that is so that the questions are catered to you a little more. So right. Just saying that. Yeah. So here we go. First question. It's more meaningful to me when I receive a loving note, text, email for no special reason from my loved one or my partner and I hug. Um, I want that hug. Stephanie, what do you want? I want that. Actually, I love a good email. But if I could hug you instead of reading your email, I'd hug you. <laughs> so you choose that. Okay. Yeah, I'd hug all right. It's more meaningful to me when I can spend alone time with my partner, just the two of us, or my partner does something practical to help me out. I want alone time, baby. What about you? If we've not made it abundantly clear in our podcast, we love alone time. We love some quality time with physical touch, baby. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Tasty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay spend a long time Duh. okay it's more meaningful to me when a my partner gives me a little gift as a token of our love for each other or i get to spend uninterrupted leisure time with my partner i thought uninterrupted it said time. time uninterrupted time yeah. i don't need no weird gifts and tokens yeah what do you want I'd uninterrupted time like a think like on the couch watching a great movie or like playing a video game uninterrupted time i'm, That's I'm the way all to go. for it oh it's more meaningful to me when a my partner unexpectedly does something for me like filling my car or doing the laundry or my partner and I touch. <laughs> you know what I thought that's about? That's a weird that's a you weird know, thing. You know that ET thing? Oh yeah, touch. <laughs> That's what I think of when I read that sentence. <laughs> so, so for me, uh, I'd rather touch. But I think there's a tricky part here on this one. Okay, uh, touch. I'll, I'll go with. You touch. want touch? There's yeah. a there's a little issue here though that I see. It's like it's, it'll probably be easy for us to like take for granted like when the other person does something. You know, it's easier probably yeah. easy for us to like overlook that. So we got to be mindful of that. It's more meaningful to me when my partner puts their arm around me when we're in public or my partner surprises me with a gift. Uh, arm around me. This is tricky for me because I don't like PDA. But I'd rather that you put your arm around me. I, I like that. It's more meaningful to me when I'm around my partner even if we're not really doing anything or I hold hands with my partner. So this is where I think you and I are going to be different in our answers because up until now we've had the same answers okay so you think we're going to be different What's on it? this one yeah um this one's kind of tricky because i like both of these but i think i like just being around more than holding hands really 
Yeah. I thought you would say holding hands because I was going to say around my partner, even if you're not really doing anything. Because <laughs> we're just the same we person. Were, <laughs> we're just the same person. That's <laughs> all it is. Remember when you were here and we would just eat like those puff chips <laughs> and yeah, just that fall was asleep? Perfect. Like, <laughs> That's literally my ideal existence. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, a please for me. <laughs> nice. See, boys, this is the way to do it. <laughs> okay, it's more meaningful to me when my partner gives me a gift, or I hear "I love you" from my partner. Oh, I love you. All day. Uh, all day, every day. That is true. I am. I I get very needy sometimes, and I'm like, "Babe, I love you." <laughs> so I love you. Also. Oh. Isn't it, it, it? This is kind of a red flag for me, honestly. If someone chooses that, no hate to anyone out there, but uh, but no, like because of the way like, I give and receive, you know. No, no, but but it could also be that that's their way of saying I love you is by giving a gift. Right, right. You know, that like like they would they would rather receive a gift and someone says here because I love you instead of just saying walking up to their birthday and being like. I love you. <laughs> right. Okay, it's more meaningful to me when I sit close to my partner or am complimented by my loved one for no apparent reason. I want to sit close. <laughs> oh. Are we going to differ here? I think we might differ here. I think. I, I like it when you compliment me for no apparent reason. And you do that. You do that quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So, that one. <laughs> Hello, editing Stephanie. I love you. You're doing a great job. It's more meaningful to me when I get the chance to just hang out with my partner or I unexpectedly get small gifts from my partner. Didn't we already answer this one? We're going to hang out. I think I think it's like they pit all the five yeah, yeah, against all together, each other. Yeah. yeah. Um, hang out. It's more meaningful to me when I hear my partner tell me I'm proud of you or my partner helps me with a task. I like some help. Okay. I think we're going to differ here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I like that. It's more meaningful to me when I get to do things with my partner or I hear supportive words from my partner. Uh, I want to do things. But I mean, I do like supportive words too sometimes. That's mm -hmm. always nice. But doing things. I would like to do things with my partner, please. Yeah. It's always fun. To, like we, the longest that we've been in one place together was this year in January, and it was just so much fun. We went grocery shopping. We went to pick out like bread for the so house. So fun. Milk. But it was I fun. know it was fun. It was so fun. <laughs> we just, just boring, we sound things. like a boring old married couple. <laughs> well, when you do it on your own for so long, it, it's nice to have someone to do it with. Okay. Yeah, that is. True. It's more meaningful to me when my partner does things for me instead of just talking about doing nice things. Um, mm. Or I feel connected to my partner through a hug. Wait, I don't understand this. Partner does things for me instead of just talking about oh. doing nice things. As That's in confusing. they'll be like, oh, we should go. We should go to dinner or we should go do this. Instead of doing that, they actually make you dinner. They oh. actually do your laundry. Uh, no, nah, let's get them hugs going. <laughs> I, I like a hug please a hug please right. it's more meaningful to me when i hear praise from my partner or my partner gives me something that shows they were really thinking about me uh i'd rather hear like a good job <laughs> oh see i would rather that you give me something that shows that you were thinking about me like when Dang you're it. in your thrift store <laughs> When you go to your thrift store and you pick me up those really sick vans or those really good plushies, like it's like I wake up and you're like, oh, that means you were thinking about me. Yeah. Like that. Or when I, I like call you at four in the morning and I'm like, hey, what's your shoe size? <laughs> you have done that. Right. <laughs> yeah. So it's, I it's like more it. meaningful. It's more meaningful to me when I'm able to just be around my partner or I get a back rub or massage from my partner. No back rubs. <laughs> you no massage. hate massages. You Ugh. hate it. Um, 
we differ here. Be able to be around now. Really? Be able to be around. Yeah. Good. Okay, I mean, good. I unless I have to give you a massage. I don't. No, no. It's not like you know. Some people just think, oh, can I have a rub? Like, unless I'm really tired, like my body is hurting, <laughs> aching, I will not ask you for a massage. <laughs> what? What? Are you, what laughing? you just said, you just said, like, why can't I get a rub? <laughs> Like a foot rub or like a yeah, massage. Give me a rub. I'll take one of those, please. <laughs> okay. All right. So which one are you going? Gosh. With? Uh, be around my partner, please. Okay. It's more meaningful when my partner reacts positively to something I've accomplished, or my partner does something for me that I know they don't particularly enjoy. Um, I like this one. Positive reaction. Of accomplishment. Positive it's reaction, actually kinda nice. Please. You too? Positive re- yeah. Oh. It's more meaningful to me when my partner and I kiss frequently. Or <laughs> I sense my partner is showing interest in things I care about. Well, this is not a fair That's a pretty tough one again. though. That's a tough one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is not like, fair. I don't I don't know. Like if you're if you're not interested in something, I think it's fine. As long as you're not actively, like, mean about it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. don't try to, like, discourage or, like, hate on the things they're interested yeah. in. So, yeah, I don't necessarily need you to be interested in the things I'm interested in. Just don't don't be a jerk about it, you know? <laughs> that, that's yeah, all. That's all I, I No, no, really. but I think that's what, that's what it is. Like, showing interest. Like, like, say you go retro gaming and about all gaming stuff i don't need to be like oh let's do it but i need to at least show some kind of interest as in trying to get to know what you're doing and be there to listen i think that's what that means and but then, kissing well, though kissing is that's more fun i'm going with kissing <laughs> <laughs> these deep talks and yeah, I'm going to sing. Yeah. Um, I sense my partner is showing interest in things I care about. B, please. That's the one you don't want to go with? You want to go with this one? <laughs> I want to go with that one. I like, I like, never mind. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to yeah, say it. Yes, she does. It's more meaningful okay. to me when my partner works on special projects with me that I have to complete or my partner gives me an exciting gift. No gifts ever. Mm. No gifts allowed in this house. A, please. I would really. You too. A. Yeah. It's more meaningful you to know. me when I'm complimented by my partner on my appearance, or my partner takes the time to listen to me and really understand my feelings. Mm. I like a good compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Listens to me and really understands my feelings. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately. <laughs> More meaningful to me when my partner and I share non-sexual touch in public or my partner offers to run errands for me. Why are all these, like, touch things so creepy? Non-sexual touch. Yeah, I'll take some touch touch in public. I'll take some touch in public, please. I mean, either kind of touch. (laughs) Agent! It's more meaningful to me when... It's more meaningful to me when my partner does a bit more than their normal share of the responsibilities we share around the house, work related, etc. Or I get a gift that I know my partner put thought into choosing. Um, Yeah, let's do some stuff. (laughs) What do you feel? I would like it if you did more than your normal share of responsibilities. Right. We really both just hate gifts, don't we? Yeah. Receiving and giving I think we l- is hate. what I have figured out. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get into this in the podcast for sure. Um, it's more yeah. meaningful to me. It's more meaningful to me when my partner doesn't check their phone while we're talking, or my partner goes out of their way to do something that relieves pressure on me. Ooh. Um. I know my answer. I'm actually gonna go with this one. Oh. Yeah, the pressure because because it, it's please. pressure. It's not just doing something for me. It's actively like taking something off of me. You know. Yeah, I will take eight, please. Doesn't check their phone. 
Mm-hmm. Because well, maybe when, someone when should stop doing that then, huh? <laughs> no, but what I mean to say is like, no, like if we're having a, a serious conversation, like phones are always aside. That's always there. Right. But like for me, when I'm like under pressure and like worked up, I don't want you to do nothing about it because then it's like, you messed it up kind of thing. So <laughs> I'm also very, I, 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 I'm a butthole about like being very particular about my thing. So <laughs> yes, agreed. It's something we can agree uh, yeah. on. It's more meaningful to me when I can look forward to a holiday because of a gift I anticipate receiving or I hear the words, I appreciate you from my partner. I'll I'll just appreciate, honestly. I will I will take and appreciate as well, please. Hey. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when my partner brings me a little gift after they've been traveling without me, or my partner takes care of something I'm responsible to do, but I feel too stressed to do it at the time. Um. So I actually, this is one instance where I do kind of like a little gift. You know, if you're out and about yeah. and then you see something I might like, just picking it up. You know, that's that's mm-hmm. always kind of nice. Um, but this one, yeah, taking care of something that I'm responsible to do, it's got to be that one. It's got to be A. Just because, mm-hmm. just because I'm very particular about the way things need to be done. It's just right. that. Yeah. It's more meaningful to me when my partner doesn't interrupt me while I talk while I'm talking. <laughs> Gift giving is an important part of our relationship. <laughs> As we have figured out, gift giving is not right. at all even on our like radar. <laughs> this one could be like up against literally any other question and you would choose this one every single day. Yes. Of oh, every yes. second of every day, always, <laughs> yeah. non-stop, forever. <laughs> it's more I like I like a good talking. I like a good like talk session. You like, that we you have. like a good listening. That's what you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just need sounding boards. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when my partner helps me out when they know I'm already tired, or I get to go somewhere while spending time with my partner. Oh, that one. <laughs> B, please. B, same. That other one is nice, though, like when you're tired and they help you out. That is. That is actually a good acts of service kind of thing. (laughs) It's It's more meaningful to me when my partner and I are physically intimate or my partner gives me a little gift that they picked up in the course of their normal day. I'm going to say this one. They both lead to intimate touching. (laughs) Physically intimate, please. Right. Mm Mm-hmm. It's more meaningful to me when my partner says something encouraging to me or I get to spend time in a shared activity or hobby with my partner. Let's go do the things. I'd like B, please. That's what I would like. (laughs) It's more meaningful to me when my partner surprises me with a small token of their appreciation or my partner and I touch a lot during the normal course of the day. See, that... See, why is all these so why are all these touch questions sound so creepy? Because touching is creepy. <laughs> like <laughs> the phone home. <laughs> Which one would you rather so touch? So do you a want lot, stuff? Dude? Do you want stuff or do you want to touch a lot? Uh touch a lot. Yeah, let's touch. It's more meaningful to me when my partner helps me out, especially if I know they're already busy, or I hear my partner specifically tell me, I appreciate you. I like this one more. Because if I know you're busy, I don't want you to take off, take on like my stuff, you know? That's the thing. If I know you're busy, I will not even like, I would not even touch you with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> So you're saying, yeah, appreciate. Yeah. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when my partner and I embrace after we've been apart for a while, or my, or I hear my partner say how much I mean to them. Definitely number one. Oh, Definitely. number one. Oh, that oh, that's the end. Wait, 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 wait. mine. For me. Yes, do mine. Do mine quickly. Oh, okay, let's look at that. 
We are quite All different. All right. So though. first up, first up, it's me. First up, it's me, right? Okay. So my primary love language is physical touch. 33%. 30, 30%. But look how close. Look how close quality time is behind. 30%. 30%. Words of affirmation is less. Acts of service, 70. Giving gifts, receiving <laughs> gifts is 0%. So let's, let's read yeah. this. So the physical touch, this language isn't all about the bedroom. A person mm-hmm. whose primary language is physical touch is not surprisingly very touchy. Hugs, pats on the back, holding hands, and thoughtful touches on the arm, shoulder, and face. They can all be ways to show excitement, concern, care, and love. Physical presence and accessibility are crucial while neglect or abuse can be unforgivable and destructive. Physical touch fosters a sense of security and belonging in any relationship. So now let's compare because you've got some interesting things. So your primary love language is quality time, 40%. 40%. I didn't know it was that high quality time. Physical touch it is 27%. Is. I, I kind of got that idea. Words of affirmation is 20%. <laughs> We're exactly the same on words of affirmation. Yeah. Acts of service is pretty low. And receiving gifts is a little higher than mine. Um, I mean, that was a, there was that one thing of, like, you thought, you think about me, so you pick mm-hmm. up something. That's one thing. But, yeah, but I was thinking about it the other day. Physical touch for me, like, if I initiate a hug, I'm fine with it. But if other people do it, it, it makes me very uncomfortable. Right. So both my sisters make it a point to initiate hugs to me and just like it, it makes me so like uncomfortable but if i initiate it like mm-hmm. i i like i like hugging i'd like like holding hands even with you like if i initiate it, it i feel a lot more comfortable yeah and like the thing that gets you here is the public physical touch that's i think where, yeah, it, where I, it knocks yours down because you're not as not as into that and stuff it's quality time. In the vernacular of quality time, nothing says I love you like full, undivided attention. Being there for this type of person is critical, but really being there with the TV off, fork and knife down, and all chores and tasks on standby makes your significant other feel truly special and loved. Distractions, postponed dates, or the failure to listen can be especially hurtful. Quality time also means sharing quality conversations and quality activities. If you want to take this test and see what your percentage of each of these love languages are, you can uh, check it in the description or go to fivelovelanguages.com. We're going to talk more in depth about this on Tuesday during our podcast. So make sure that you subscribe, turn that notification bell on so that you get notified every time a new video goes up. You can also follow us on all our social media, which is TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. So make sure that you do all of that so that you know when a new video goes up. So see you on Tuesday.